Midwest Michigan. Fox 17 News at 4 starts right now. First at 4, Peter Secchia, a former U.S. ambassador and well-known West Michigan philanthropist, has died at the age of 83. A family spokesperson says he contracted COVID-19 and also had several recent health issues. Tonight, we're taking a look back at his life and legacy. He was born April 15, 1937, and while Peter Secchia may have grown up in New Jersey, it was Michigan that he called home. After a three-year stint in the U.S. Marines, Mr. Secchia earned his bachelor's degree from Michigan State University in 1962, majoring in economics. He went right into the workforce, landing a position at the wholesale lumber business Universal Forest Products. I thought I was going to be a star. I graduated from college. You kids know about this, right? You get a suit, you get a vest, you get a hat, you get a briefcase, and you show up and nobody pays any attention to you. Just one year later, he married his wife, Joan, who also attended MSU, studying elementary education. The pair went on to have four children, whom they raised in Grand Rapids. Joan became a teacher, while Peter grew his successful business career, eventually purchasing 51% of Universal Forest. I was able to buy into a very small company, and my first employee was Bill Curry, in the winter of 1971. Mr. Secchia also owned River City Foods, which included dozens of restaurants and catering facilities. He also launched Sibsco, a small real estate company in the 1980s, to help teach kids about business principles and financial investments. From 1989 to 1993, he served as the United States ambassador to Italy under President George H.W. Bush. Throughout his life, he supported many Republican causes, serving as chairman of the 1985 Republican National Committee Midwest Leadership Conference in Grand Rapids and was also national co-chair of the Bob Dole for President campaign. Mr. Secchia also served on the executive committee of the Gerald R. Ford Foundation, furthering the career and values of his dear friend and former president, Gerald Ford, a man whose praises he sang long after his passing in 2006. The trip home on Air Force One will always be remembered by all of us, lining the streets eight, ten deep. Hundreds of thousands of people lined up. An affection and appreciation Mr. Secchia also shared for President Ford's wife, Betty, who died in 2011. If you had a friend, or you had a grandma, or you had someone that you wanted the family to look up to, that would be Betty Ford. Not only did she speak her mind, but she was a teacher. She taught us all by going public with some issues. And she always loved us all. And uh, she'll be missed. Throughout his life, Mr. Secchia and his wife supported numerous philanthropic endeavors, including a project putting bronze statues throughout Grand Rapids, paying tribute to fixtures in the community. They're all iconic people who helped build Grand Rapids. They also made it a point to support the growth of Michigan State University, including a $1 million donation for a new women's softball stadium in 2010. That same year, MSU's School of Medicine, the Secchia Center, opened on the Medical Mile, later expanding to the old Grand Rapids Press Building. This is going to bring so much to our community. It just makes our vibrant downtown vibrant for the next 10 years. Whether it was charity, politics, or business, those who knew Mr. Secchia say there was also something to learn from him. His, his disciplines, his beliefs, the way he thought you should run a business is where what we learned. you got to find somebody that you, that you admire, you respect, and you need to follow them. And according to a statement from his wife, Joan, the family is planning a private service due to the current restrictions on gatherings. Yeah, they are asking for contributions to one of the many organizations Sekia supported. We will have all that information at fox17online.com. Reaction, meanwhile, to the death of Peter Sekia coming in today, the family of President Ford issued a statement quickly, calling his legacy remarkable, adding that he did everything with gusto. They say Sekia met President Ford back in 1964 during a congressional campaign. He was part of the family from there on out, even with the MSU and of course, University of Michigan rivalry that the two shared. Family goes on to say, our family will miss Peter, will remember his generous spirit, and be inspired by his determination to make everything he touched better than he found it. And Grand Rapids Mayor Rosalind Bliss had this to say, there was no one who worked harder than Peter. If he gave you his word, you knew it, you could count on it. Mayor Bliss said that they worked together on multiple occasions, but the memory of planting trees with Sekia and his wife Joan is one she says she will cherish forever. And meanwhile, Speaker of the House Lee Chatfield here in Michigan tweeting his condolences, saying Sekia loved Grand Rapids, Michigan, and his country, adding that he had the heart of a lion and meant a lot to him.